Well, I left my home down on the rural route. I told my palm on stepping out and get the honky tonk blues. Yeah, the honky tonk blues. Well, Lord, I got home. I got the whole honky tonk blues. Williams. My name is Keith Williams. This is no relation. Uh, with Fret More Guitar Lessons, I appreciate y'all tuning in today. Uh, what a great song, just a four chord song today. And I did, I did uh, always do a cover on it, and I'll put uh, a link to that cover uh, down below. I actually did two covers. I did one in A, because that's what he plays it in, is A. And I try to keep it original if I can, but sometimes it's just too much. And so I did it in A, and it was a little high for me, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to do it in G. Uh, because I, I just I, don't know, I just felt better. It's just one, just a whole step back there. But uh, I just liked, uh, I don't know, I just liked it better. I like playing in G better than I do A anyway. Uh, nothing against A, but I just I just like the G chord. Uh, um, and so anyway, I did it. I did two versions. So uh, I'll put both of those in, down below, and I'll show you how to do both of them in this lesson, okay? So uh, the one I just did just now, a little uh, intro there, uh, is in G. So G, C, and D, and then there's a G7, okay? If you could give us a thumbs up on this, subscribe to us if you would. And we're going to jump right into this thing, and I'm going to show you both versions of this, okay? So there's our G, and you can get a G this way. And one thing about it, if you do a G this way, and you don't have to, but you can get that G7, okay? You just raise your pinky, put your index finger on the first string of the first fret, and you got a G7. So it's a little quicker than, and I, I you'll see me jumping back and forth, but... Uh, whichever is better for you, okay? If you're already used to this G, then it's probably easier to uh, jump to the G7th than to try to learn a new way to play a G. So I'm not going to uh, recommend you do that necessarily. Uh, we've got a C in there and a D, okay? The other version is A, and you can get that A however you want to. I get it with two fingers. Some people get it with three. Some people get it with one. And then we've got an A7, okay? So that's just the two, two strings. Just second and fourth, okay? And uh, D, and then E, okay? So I'll show you both versions, and uh, uh, I don't usually do this, but I, 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 like I said, done it in A, and it's just a little bit high, so I want to back it up. All right, so <clears throat> one thing, <clears throat> the strumming, and it's a pretty slow song, the way Hank does it. Now, uh, Pirates of the Mississippi, I think, uh, was one that did it. They did a little more upbeat version, which I love their version of it. It's a little more upbeat, and then Charlie Pratt had a version. A lot of people have done that song, but uh, and I'm not sure about Charlie's. It may be a little faster than Hank's. is pretty slow, and his is about two minutes long, and I realized even I tried to do it as slow as I possibly could, it was still longer than two minutes. So I'm just plucking that six string. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Actually, it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and I'm plucking that sixth string again. Down, up, down, up, so it's three down, ups. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay. Down, up, down, up, down, up, and I'm plucking that sixth string. Okay. Well, I left my home down on the rural route. Get the honky tonk blues, C. Yeah, the honky tonk blues. Back to G. Out of D. Yeah, Lord, I got home. I got the honky honky tonk blues. Okay, so it's <clears throat> that's, that's the whole progression right there, all the way through the song. There's four. There's not really a chorus in this song. There's four verses basically. And if we did that in A, it'd be the same type thing, or we're just plucking the the fifth, fifth string. Well, I left my home down on the rural route. You see, it's a lot higher for me. I told my palm gone stepping out a seventh and get the honky tonk blues deep. Yeah, the honky tonk blues back to A, now to E. Yeah, Lord, I got home. I got the home honky tonk blues. So that. Like I say, that's all the way through. I'm not going to do the A anymore. That's You kind of get the, the idea of that if you want to do it in A. Uh, I'll do one more verse, uh, <clears throat> and uh, I'll do the last verse here. But like I said, they're all going to be the same, same progression and everything. 
And uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else. There's a little break in between after the second verse. He does a little break. And it's, it's pretty simple. I didn't do a whole lot. I just went through the chord progression. So just G, G7, but C. Back to G. Then to D. Tuck my worries underneath my arm Scat right back to my pappy's farm And leave these honky-tonk blues Yeah, the honky-tonk blues Well, Lord, I got home I got the home honky-tonk blues Yeah, Lord, I got home I got the home honky-tonk blues And I did that little tag. He doesn't do a tag at the end. He just ends it. He just plays that last part and ends it. I, I just wanted to repeat it because I realized um, I, I was it was pretty short there, so I added that little part. And then I just just kind of went to the C to the end and back to the G as far as the ending. But you can do that however you want to. And sometimes I just raise up my fingers. Uh, however you want to do that, but anyway, that's that's the whole song. I said there's four verses, but they're all they're all the same progression. So I won't go through all of them because you can go and watch the the cover, either one you want to, the one in A or the one in G, and uh, play along with it. <clears throat> and uh, I hope it's uh, helpful to you. I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in as always. If you could give us a thumbs up, as I said, and uh, subscribe to us. Check out our other videos out there. Share us on social media, and we'll see y'all the next one. Thanks. <laughs>